हेलो 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 वेलकम टू मिश फिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू कोर्स आज एक नया कोर्स शुरू करेंगे व्हिच इज ऑसिलेशंस वेव्स एंड साउंड एंड दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी फंडामेंटल कोर्स इन फिजिक्स बहुत ज्यादा बेसिक वेयर यू कैन लर्न अ लॉट एंड अप्लाई दिस टू मेनी रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम्स बेसिकली दिस कोर्स विल बी कवरिंग द एसवाईबीएससी सिलेबस ऑफ पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी एसवाईबीएससी का जो आपको पीएचवाई 241 कोर्स है बेसिकली विल बी कवरिंग दैट बट अगेन बीच बीच में वी विल स्टडी सम अदर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द सेम टॉपिक नाउ इन दिस फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्टरी लेक्चर आई जस्ट वांट टू कवर अ फ्यू थिंग्स दैट इज व्हाई आर वी स्टडीइंग दिस कोर्स और रादर द मोटिवेशन व्हाई वुड वी स्टडी दिस कोर्स बिकॉज व्हेन यू लुक एट दिस कोर्स यू फील दैट ऑसिलेशंस आर समथिंग दैट वी नो अबाउट दैट वी स्टडीड अ लिटिल बिट इन आवर 11th standard 12th standard we know about waves we know about sound why would you need to study this course again at an SYBSC level so let me just give you a brief introduction or you can call this lecture as a motivation as to why we study this course uh, in this world that we observe this earth that we live on we see that there are plenty of things that are moving we constantly see things that are in motion okay we always see objects that are in motion and broadly speaking we can divide this into two categories uh, very broadly speaking we can divide this motion into two categories one is something called as translational motion ek cheez hai jisko hum bolte hain translational motion translation motion this translational motion is when an object changes its position with respect to time so initially you had an object which was here after some time you see this object has gone there what are the examples examples are many many examples suppose i start walking now this is my position you can call this x is equal to some uh, some some position that i am in i start walking 5 minutes after uh, with a certain speed you will see me at another place that is one type of motion you throw a ball that is translation motion you fire a bullet bullet goes across that is translation motion if you see a comet in the sky स्काई में जो कॉमेंट्स होते हैं इफ यू सी दैट मोशन दैट इज अगेन ट्रांसलेशन मोशन बिकॉज इट इज चेंजिंग इट्स पोजिशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम एंड देन यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अनदर काइंड ऑफ मोशन विच इज कॉल्ड वाइब्रेशनल मोशन वाइब्रेशनल मोशन वॉट इज वाइब्रेशनल मोशन यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉल दिस ऑसिलेटरी मोशन दिस वाइब्रेशन वाइब्रेशनल मोशन कैन ऑल्सो बी कॉल्ड ऑसिलेटरी मोशन oscillatory motion or vibrational motion is when an object is again changing its position obviously jab object position change karega tabhi to usko motion karenge na so yahan bhi object position change kar raha hai par yahan bhi change kar raha hai but here you see that that object is moving in a fixed path uska path same hai though it keeps changing its trajectory constantly you see that its path remains the same it is executing some kind of motion along a fixed path now what are the examples of these i think the first example that all of us can think of is a simple pendulum a simple pendulum is that something we have seen right from our childhood and a simple pendulum if you see the motion it is oscillatory or vibrational ek hi position ke across you see it coming back and forth back and forth back and forth and another very famous example is one is a simple pendulum another is you take a spring and you attach a mast to it you attach some mast to it when you pull it aap usko pull karo ya usko push karo you will see that the mass will will execute some kind of vibrational motion oscillatory motion so these are very two quick examples that come to mind now you might have a question i know simple pendulums oscillate i know this spring spring systems oscillate spring mass systems oscillate is that enough is this matlab bas do systems ke liye is it necessary that we study all of oscillations and we study what happens with it and uh, what is the what is the mathematical equation that describes it is it worth our time and the answer is yes because these are not the only two systems that oscillate these two systems are what i would call textbook systems jisko hum exactly solve kar pate hain but are there any other daily life things that oscillate yes in fact we are surrounded by things that are oscillating right from this this wall i think you can see a wall over here this wall is some solid thing i strike it and it oscillates do you can't see it but it is vibrating any stable structure when it is struck it it will start oscillating electrons electrons are oscillating not just electrons do you know light the reason why you can see me the reason why we can see things around us light is also some thing that is oscillating 
what is oscillating of course now we know because of maxwell that we know that it is an electric field and a magnetic field that is oscillating so again light is something where something or the else is oscillating our human heart human heart the human heart oscillates at a particular frequency that is why uh, when a doctor sees an ecg the moment he sees the ecg he can know whether everything in your heart is going well or not why because the heart has a certain rhythm और वो ऑसिलेशन जब तक फॉलो हो रहे हैं द डॉक्टर इमीडिएटली नोज दैट दिस इज अल्दी हार्ट एंड इफ योर हार्ट बिकम्स स्लाइटली अनहेल्दी द ऑसिलेशन ऑफ द हार्ट और द वाइब्रेशन ऑफ द हार्ट माइट सडनली डिफ सो बेसिकली वी आर सराउंडेड बाई थिंग्स दैट ऑसिलेट ओके एंड देर आर मेनी मेनी रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन दैट वी कैन स्टडी इफ वी नो हाउ ऑसिलेशन बिहेव गिविंग यू वेरी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल्स इज यू माइट हैव सीन अ डोर डैम्पनर वेन यू गो टू सम ऑफिस कुछ ऑफिस में अगर आप जाओ दरवाजा आप खोलने पर ऊपर एक डोर का डैम्पनर होता है सो वेन यू क्लो वेन यू ओपन द डोर द डोर ऑटोमेटिकली क्लोज दैट सिस्टम इज समथिंग दट यूज आर स्टडी ऑफ ऑसिलेशन एंड वी कैन डिजाइन दैट डोर डैम्पनर नॉट जस्ट दैट वेन यू हैव यू माइट हैव हर्ड ऑफ अर्थ क्वेक रेजिस्टेंट बिल्डिंग्स वेन यू बिल्ड अ टॉल बिल्डिंग इन एन अर्थ क्वेक प्रोन जोन यू हैव टू बिल्ड इट इन सच अ वे दैट इट कैन रेजिस्ट अर्थ क्वेक्स हाउ इट कैन डू दैट is something that again you get to learn once you know how oscillatory motion works so basically this these things are just uh, there is a word in english called ubiquitous matlab we are surrounded by oscillations everywhere we see even though we might not immediately recognize them there are oscillations all around us that is the first thing second thing is what is waves oscillation was one particle oscillating one object one body oscillating waves is a collection of objects ek ke baad ek ke baad ek ke baad ek बहुत सारे ऑब्जेक्ट्स जब ऑसिलेट करते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड वेव द फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन पर समलेटरी डिस्टर्बेंस विच इज ट्रेवलिंग थ्रू अ मीडियम सो फ्रॉम ऑसिलेशन वेरी नेचुरली वी मूव ऑन टू वेव्स एंड हाउ वेव्स बी है एंड फन फैक्ट ऑल वेव्स ऑल वेव्स इन नेचर हैव अ पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन दैट यू कैन मैथमेटिकली डिस्क्राइब इट इन दैट इज कॉल्ड द वेव इक्वेशन ओके एंड बिकॉज दिस वेव इक्वेशन वॉज डिराइव quite some time back when maxwell was working out his electromagnetic theory and he was just playing around with all the equations at one point he suddenly realized that the equation that i have in front of me is a wave equation and it was that discovery when he realized that he is looking at a wave equation that he realized that light is an electromagnetic wave so once you know a wave equation for any wave the same equation is going to describe all kinds of phenomena which are waves now again when i say about wave, when i say waves i think the first thing that comes to our mind is water waves because we've seen water waves very often are there any other kinds of waves yes again we are surrounded by waves water waves light light is a wave what is waving it is a electric and magnetic field that is waving after light we have sound that is a wave light and sound are slightly different kinds of waves we'll come back to that some are longitudinal waves some are transverse waves again earthquake earthquake is nothing but a wave it is a wave traveling through the earth surface so again once you study waves you can also describe to some accuracy you can you will be able to describe earthquakes so again waves are a very very integral part of everything that we see around us okay and finally we will go on from waves we will study sound which is of course one wave and we will study sound in some detail now how is this course structured this course is divided into three units first one is oscillations waves and sound in oscillations we study three things first thing we will study is free oscillations undamped oscillations when you take an oscillating object place it in vacuum and give it some energy and leave it to oscillate that is free oscillations after free oscillations we will study real life applications and real systems which is damped oscillations jab ek simple pendulum ko aap hawa mein suspend kar de ho air mein suspend kar de ho it stops after some time because the air is damping it the air is blocking its path so second unit will be damped oscillations and the third unit will be forced oscillations when we force an object to oscillate and in the forced oscillations we study resonance which has plenty of applications all around us then we will go to the fourth unit which is waves and the fifth unit which is sound who is this course for who can study this and uh, for whom is this particular course designed of course anyone who is interested in this topic anyone who likes physics but basically this will be focusing on the SYBSE of Pune University so Pune University ka jo SYBSE ka syllabus hai usme ye course hai so basically we will focus on that course 
of course in between we might study many other things which are useful so yes with that brief introduction we'll end this and then see you soon in the next video thank you